Hello, I'm going to show you how to acquire um, free 3D models that you can add to your projects at your discretion. It's optional, you don't have to do this, but for example, um, if you're building a city or doing interior design or something like that and you need a model of a chair, it might be easier just to to get a free model off the internet. So this is this website is called Turbo Squid, and they sell uh, 3D models in all formats, but they also have uh, free, a lot of free models as well. Um, okay, so you know here's a search engine. I'm sure you guys could figure this out, but just to point out some stuff, here's a tab for Cinema 4D models. So let's click that, and then in the search engine, uh, I want a tree, so I'm going to type in tree, and I get all this these um, suggestions, but I'm just going to hit the magnifying glass and see what comes up. Okay, so first of all, I don't want you to spend any money in this course uh, on these models. Do not do that. So filter all, your, the, all the hits here by price. So click the drop down menu next to price and choose free. And then be aware that um, the free the free ones are clearly marked as free okay but like there's these other ones here interspersed which um you know are for pay you know so like just just be aware that there's stuff that you got to pay for in here interspersed with the the free stuff because it's a business and they're trying to make money you know which is fine okay so let's click on uh, let's hover over this first one and you'll see, uh, you'll get a readout of what it's appropriate for. It says here Cinema uh, 4D Max, which is uh, another program, FBX and something else there. Um, now some of these are like mislabeled, you know, so you gotta be careful. All right, so this is a good example here. Um, hover over this and click details to see what you got going on here. And you know, here's this tree, yippee. And there's really like it'll tell you like we can use Cinema 4D, we can use 3ds Max um, for this. This model can be used in 3ds Max or Cinema 4D. But when you click download, you get even more information here, and this is where it gets interesting. So, like, let's I'm interested in this one. Uh, broadleaf trio 2 and here's what you got to do you're going to get this little show all you know this is the file types and this is a critical thing okay so click on show all and what do we got here so we can use we got an fbx which is for autodesk um, we got a blend model for for blender and then we got an, this obj this obj is Typically, it could spans across a lot of different three D software, you know. So um, most of the time, although I've had trouble sometimes, but most of the time, an OBJ file will import into Cinema Four D with with no problem. But wait, there's more. Okay, now there's this other th stuff here: textures, bark, and leaf. So just let me demo this. I downloaded this earlier. So, um, you know, you just click on it and then um, be cognizant, though, of look how big this file is, 288 megabytes. So just be aware of how much storage space you're using on your machine, okay? Because some of these files are huge, all right? Um, I already downloaded it earlier, so I can just cancel this download. I just wanted to show you that. Um, and then I, I downloaded the uh, textures, bark, and leaf. So then I put it in a folder in a known location here. I made a tree folder and I put the OBJ tree folder in there and then I, I stuck the, um, the textures just, you know, in this file with it. So here's what you gotta do. That was my cat screaming in the background. And there he goes again. Um, Let's open up Cinema 4D. You can't just double click on this and open it. Okay, so you got to open Cinema 4D. I got a, you know, no file there. File, merge project. Yes, kitty, I know. And then, and then um, 
navigate to the tree.obj and open it. And it might take a while. Then just accept the uh, OBJ import defaults. Click OK. My cat's name is Zach. He's uh, he's going to be 18 years old in May, so he, he's mouthy. All right. So anyway, so there is my tree, and it doesn't look anything like the uh, beautiful picture we saw. Well, there's no textures on it. Okay, so, like I said, I downloaded the Bark PNG and a Leaf PNG earlier. And if I give you a, uh, these are PNGs, right? So there's transparency is preserved. So let me go back to C4D. I gotta make two materials, one for Bark and one for Leaf. Is that what they call it? Um, yes, okay. So, double click, leave the default, you know, uh, material alone. Double click. Let's make a new material. Let's call it bark. And uh, choose the color channel. Right? And then you're going to load a texture. And we did this earlier in the semester. So color channel is enabled. Um, I might turn off the reflectance. I don't know. But uh, I'm not worried about that right now. Yeah, let me turn that off. Um, so anyway, color channels enabled, texture, hit the drop down menu, load image, and again, you did this early in the semester. Uh, download to, or pardon me, uh, navigate to, you guys get to see the horrible mess my hard drive is in, um, to the bark texture, right? Or, yeah, that's right, <laughs> the bark texture. Click open, and then it'll say, you know, it's not in the search path. You've probably encountered this before. And just say, yes, you want to, you know, create a copy in the project location. Yes. All right. So that's cool. All right, let's double click on the uh, material um, pane, make a new material, call it leaf. And again, we're going to load, you know, color color channel, right? And let's disable reflectance. Um, texture, load image, leaf, open, and yada, yada, yada. Do you want to create a copy at a project location? Yes, you do. And you, you'll you get this black, weird-looking thing around your image. Don't worry about that. Don't freak out. So everything's far out here. All right, so let's go over to the um, object manager and open up tree.obj. There's only two um, objects here, which is great. One is branches, one is stems. Um, so I think I was messing around with this. It's like a, I don't know why they called it branches and stems. They, they should have called it branches and leaves, right? But So I'm going to guess that the bark material goes on to branches. And let's see if that works. And no, it didn't. It went on to the leaves. Okay, so that was wrong. So let me delete that. I'm going to take the bark material and put it on stems. And that makes sense. Okay. Then I'm going to take the leaf material, click, hold, and drag, and drop it onto branches. And I don't know why they called it branches. It doesn't make any sense at all. And uh, lo and behold, here's our gorgeous tree. Okay, so now I can save this as, you know, um, a C4D file, you know, tree or whatever. Ta-da! All right. And now, um, so I got my wonderful tree here. Now when I make a new project, um, so let's, you know, like, Okay, okay, I got a new project going and I build stuff, you know, I put stuff in it and oh happy day, you know, I, I got all my, you know, groovy shapes and all that other stuff. Now when I want to put in the tree, right, I'll just go file merge project. And we did this really early in the semester, if you might not remember. But anyway, to, to get the to do this, you go file merge project and choose the tree uh, C4D file click open and there it is and it's came in at a different scale 
you know, which is not a big deal, you know, because we can just scale it up. So, you know, um, there you go. That's that's pretty much all I wanted to say there. So anyway, um, let's go back to the internet here. Uh, the last thing uh, that I probably should have mentioned this a long time ago in this video, uh, Turbo Squid's a legit site. Uh, you need you need to have an account, um, so you'll have to, you know, stick your email in there and make a password, all that stuff, you know. But Turbo Squid is is they're cool. They're it's a legit site. You're not going to get any weird emails or spam or anything like that. The um, downloads are safe, you know. The only thing I'll mention I guess is when you're searching through all this stuff um, just be aware that sometimes you know the, sometimes this stuff will be mislabeled uh, or you know like it'll say cinema 4d but it'll only be appropriate for like Maya or something that that does happen every once in a while because these freebies are um, you know I, most of them are just donated by people you know like designers that just want to be part of the community also, you, after you get more experience with this stuff, if you want to donate, make a model and donate it, that's great. Like, you know, check this out, this tree here. This is something, you know, you've already made in this course. You know, something better. You've made better models than this, you know. So if you want to, like, contribute to this, um, these free models, you know, that'd be, that'd be great. And in conclusion, as they say, um, you do not have to use these uh, free models for your projects, but they can be a nice way to augment um, your projects, especially if you're doing something like a city scene or like an interior modeling project. You got like, you know, lots of cool furniture and staircases and all kind of stuff. You can spend a lot of time on Turbo Squid looking for um, free models. So, anyway. Um, that is that. So I'm going to end this uh, video here. I probably went too long.